live on both? Are we live on both? Hey, good morning. How you doing? Thanks for joining us for our Morning Mindset. We are here at Student of the Gun University. And without further ado, activate the asshole filter. Congratulations. All right, we good on camera one? We're Four, good. Three, two, one. Welcome. Welcome to Student of the Gun University. All right, what is your job on the outside, other side of the camera? Well, your job is to check in, tell us where you are on planet Earth. We want to know. And share this with at least one person. You know there's at least one person in your life that needs to see this. So do it. Get to it. Get started. Right now, sign in and share. I'm going to drink my coffee. Mm. How are we doing, Maestro, on the uh, the back end? Uh, it says everything is good, so... It says everything's good, so we'll believe them. We'll believe them. Uh, is everyone... Uh, all right, who works for either the bank, the post office, or the government? So you guys all have Monday off. Okay, well... I think we're going to take Monday to do some internal housekeeping and upkeep, so uh, we won't be live Monday, but uh, we'll be around doing stuff. And while we're talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and give everybody out there, at least in the United States audience, who's going to be off on Monday, you have a three-day weekend coming up. I'm going to give you a homework assignment. So perk up your ears. Your homework assignment for the Labor Day weekend is to do something to ensure your family's preparedness and security and or security. Okay. What is that thing? I don't know. Decide for yourself. But I want you to take the time this weekend to do something with your family that ensures their preparedness or better enhances their preparedness. How's that sound? Sound good? And I'll be checking in with you next week to see how you guys did. You don't have to tell me what you're going to do right now, but that's your homework assignment for this weekend, students of the gun. How we do it, Jared? Are we uh, ready to begin the main topic? Yeah, let's go ahead and begin the main topic. Address this camera over here as the YouTube. Hello, channel. camera over there. Camera two or camera one? Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Yes, this is my cultural sensitivity and awareness training cup. Uh, I know I've been using it a lot lately. I don't know what to say. Mm. Where did my shirt come from? It came from Twin Unicorn Designs. Thank you for asking. Welcome to Student of the Gun University. Welcome to Morning Mindset. I am your host, Professor Paul Markle. And today we're going to talk about absolutes and being absolutely wrong. Now, in the world, uh, we have different types of training and education and so forth. And it's a very simple human reaction to take whatever they learned first as gospel, their first encounter with, let's just say, firearms training. The first school they go to, the first instructor or teacher they have, that person sets the rules, right? And from that moment forward, they say, hey, everything that guy said was gospel, and everything I hear after that is bullcrap, unless it agrees with what I first learned. And that's very, it's a natural human occurrence. People are comfortable with what they are familiar with. And when they reach things or they encounter things that they're unfamiliar with, it makes them uncomfortable and they don't like it. Now, there's something else that humans have, and that is the ability to learn. Oh, I know, the ability to learn from experience and new information. Now, do we do brain surgery? Do brain surgeons today, in 2016, conduct brain surgery the same way they did in 1982? Or 1992. They're like, well, no, of course not. I mean, we've made advances, we've learned things, we do things differently. Ah, okay. The same applies to firearms training. Do I shoot and perform and act the same way today as I did all the way back in 1986 when I took my first formal firearms training class? No. Does it mean that what I learned in 1986 was wrong? No, it wasn't wrong. But we've learned, we've evolved, we've considered things, and we've made changes. And that's okay. 
Now, are there certain things that are absolutes? Yes. Four universal safety rules, absolute. Follow those. Uh, the application of a fragmentation grenade. Principles one, two, three. Step one, two, three. Are those absolutes? Yes. Thumb clip, pull pin, throw grenade. You have to do those in that order. If you switch up the order, you're not going to have a good day. All right. So there are absolutes, but there are far more things that are not absolutes. And uh, one of our favorites, one of the favorites that we like to argue about as a gun culture is muzzle up or muzzle down. Okay, And you will go to schools and you will counter instructors or teachers, and this goes from the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, down to police agencies, down to private academies. You have the always muzzle up, always muzzle up, always muzzle up, or always muzzle down, always muzzle down, always muzzle down. Absolutely, always. The fact of the matter is, whether you are an always muzzle up person or an always muzzle down person, Either way, you're wrong. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, you're wrong. Because we operate and live in an ever-changing 360-degree world. Will there be times when muzzle up is not correct? Yes, there are times. Are there times when muzzle down? Well, yeah, but, but there's far more times that muzzle down is more than, better than muzzle up. Stop yourself. We're talking about absolutes. The moment you say always or never, you're setting yourself up for failure. Like I said, there are very few. There's a reason there's only 10 commandments, not 157. Okay? There's a reason there are four universal safety rules, not 38 universal safety rules. Because there are very few genuine absolutes in the world as opposed to, and you're like, well, I went to school, and, my, and this guy told me, derp, 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 and he was a good guy. I'm sure he was a good guy. But what we fall into, the trap we fall into as a gun culture, is that we mistake personal preference and opinion for absolutes. Most of the time, when someone says absolutely or never or always, it's not because that is a genuine, true absolute. It's because it's a personal preference. Now, when I hold a gun, when I shoot, when I do my thing, I do it a certain way. But I'm six foot one and I weigh about 215 pounds. And uh, thank you, SWAT fuel. Now, are, am I going to encounter people that aren't the same body structure, height, and weight as me? Yes, I will. And if I try and force them to do things exactly as I do them, they may not be able to, or they will struggle. But I can say, no, I do it this way, and this is the way I have greatest success, and you have to do it exactly as I said, or you're wrong. Not necessarily. That's when we go back to what is the object, of, or what is our, our goal? What is the object of the lesson? Is the object of the lesson to hit the target repeatedly all the time? Or is it to engage in some kind of a tactical kabuki dance where we're flipping and throwing and pitching magazines around and so forth? So it's time to be honest with ourselves. When, and when you say absolutely, when you say never or always, when you do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. There are very few absolutes in the world. And what you need to do is you need to be honest and say, is this a genuine absolute or is it just a personal preference or opinion? All right, that's it. That's all I have for you. What? Don't forget that this weekend, it's a Labor Day weekend, right? Long weekend. I want you guys to do your homework. Take some time. I don't care how long you take, an hour, two hours, whatever. But do something so that when Tuesday rolls around, you can genuinely look me in the eye and say, yes, I took steps to ensure my family's preparedness and security. All right, one other thing in addition to the signing in and the sharing and all that stuff. Go to studentofthegun.com and make sure that you're signed up for the electronic newsletter. It costs you nothing. Go there, click the orange button that says seven training tips that could save your life. Follow the instructions. I know that's difficult for many men, but follow the instructions and you won't miss a thing, I guarantee it. Oh, all right, you know Jared has one more thing for you. We forgot to activate the asshole filter. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Okay. 
I didn't. I Kids, they're on the other side, what? fiddling. It, it caught at least one person that I. Could no, see I did it. Head. Okay, I did it. Didn't I? You know, they're out there like, yeah, he did. He did it almost first. I was over here dealing with the, the cameras. That's so, cool. You do your you yeah. Do you your guys that are thing. you guys that are on YouTube or if you're watching from the website, then you can actually choose from two different camera angles. So if you don't like one and it auto focuses, you can switch to the other one. If you're on Facebook, then you're just SOL. Um, you can still get the the Don't good dance. message though. Yeah, dance form. Q-tip, Q-tip. <laughs> make a pizza, make a pizza. You're welcome. Thank you, Kevin James. That's gonna be a gif. A gif. What you just did. Yeah. Are we done? Right, yeah. Now we're gonna open up short Q and A session. If you have any questions. All right. You should already be queuing. Yeah. You should already be queuing an A and an A and and queuing, not T and A. Q and A. Close. But different. Close but different. Huh. Mm. On Facebook, he's looking at the wrong camera. Go to the website and watch it. I even posted a link in the comments. I'm not a fly. I can't look at all three cameras simultaneously. Sorry. Somebody said cray cray. Um, Christopher, uh, you, I like you, but. Who said that? Christopher Umana. Who, who said that on the radio? It was probably it you. It wasn't me. It I... came from Ryan. Hello from Saudi. Hot enough for you? Heads up, you're printing massively. Well, I didn't know that we were looking at his, his gun, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. This is free America. It doesn't matter. All right. We don't have to I hide. I guess there are America. no questions. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Go to studentofthegun.com. Bye.